Me and Dylan are here at the Turtle Bay Explor Exploration Park. The Turtle Bay Exploration Park. And uh, we'll see what this place is all about. Located in the city of Reddings, California, the Turtle Bay Exploration Park is a fun, non-profit 300-acre place. The Exploration Park is situated along the banks of the Sacramento River, and it features a sundial bridge, museum, forestry and wildlife center, arboretum, and botanical garden. The Sundial Bridge we are walking across is a world-famous pedestrian bridge and public art installation. Spanish architect and engineer Santiago Calatrava conceived of the Sundial's bridge unusual design. It was completed in July 4, 2004 and its dimensions are 700 feet long, 23 feet wide, and 217 feet high, weighing in at a whopping 3.2 million pounds. So this bridge right underneath is just glass, but it's like a protective glass, really tough material. And right across there, that's the Sacramento River, right there, beautiful Sacramento River. So when you are at the Turtle Bay Exploration Park, you will see immediately the big sundial on the sundial bridge. And as soon as you cross the bridge, um, right at the end of it will be a botanical garden, a nursery. So let's go check that out. All right, you gotta watch out here. There are rattlesnakes in the area, so be very careful. This is the arboretum, their botanical garden. This botanical garden is actually pretty big. I thought it was going to be a short hike. So technically not a free place, but I guess you get a $5 donation. Members are free. So I would say it's a donation just because there's no attendance. But we're going to be honest on this and we're going to put our $5 in. They're called Birds on a Wire, Lessons from Nature. Apparently this is the artist for um, the bird on a wire. There is a ton of areas to walk out here in this botanical garden. It's very peaceful here. I like it. Especially early in the morning. It's not very crowded. So this shrub has like this purple, purplish bean pods. Purplish red bean pods. And it just seems to cover that that top portion of it. Earthstone by Colleen Berry. Yeah, here's the Earth Stone by Colleen Berry, the artist. The McConnell Arboretum is over 200 acres of native trees and plants and has a one mile loop trail. In the botanical gardens, you will get to explore a Mediterranean climate display children's garden, medicinal garden, two beautiful water features, and a seasonal pond. Out here in the garden, we got the fun fit zone. So you can work out. All of these uh, equipments. All right, it's not as easy as it looks. These are bamboos. We got a bamboo forest out here. 
We're now at the nursery section of Turtle Bay Exploration Park. Oh, they got like a pretty legit nursery out here. You can actually purchase the plants growing out in the botanical garden. So these are all their shade plants out here. And uh, for one gallon, these are their pricing. One gallon is $8, two gallons is $12. Goes all the way up to 15 gallons, $30. 15 gallons $30? Yeah. But I think all of these are, I think they specialize in native California plants. I mean, some of these actually look like the weeds. Like that one looks like a weed. Okay, so a lot of these are California native plants. That's what they specialize in. If you want to get some for your home. Fortunately, we are about 500 miles from home. So this would not be something. Ooh, this is a pretty flower. And there's like a little bumblebee on it. A little bumblebee doing this work around these flowers. And you know that whatever plant that you get out here in the nursery will do very well out here in the California climate. So, very interesting place. It's, yeah, this is Northern California. So this will do well in Northern California. But I think it, the climate feels uh, very similar to Southern California, where we come from. And the nursery is only open till 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So check your time. Whoa, this is cool. I've never seen like these turquoise flowers before. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow, look at this fountain. They've got, oh, there's like something in the water. That's a pretty cool fountain. It creates a pond here. And then uh, it goes up from up here. And there's koi fish in there as well. These tapels are huge. Usually the tapels we see are really small, right? So this waterfall is called the Sound of Water. This is kind of an art exhibit slash fountain. It sounds really relaxing. So there's water coming out from the side of this stone. Huh? Yeah. We got a little fetus here. This place is really big. I wish we could spend more time just lounging around and exploring, but we gotta head off on the road soon. But we're gonna check out their museum now, and I think they might have had an obstacle course around here too. Look at this uh, shark that they made. So I guess there's a little search going on here. Can you, Dylan, can you find the uh, comb in there? There it is, comb. Okay, we got our admission to the Turtle Bay Exploration. The 34,600 square foot museum is a two-story structure that features two art galleries for traveling exhibitions, an aquarium reflecting the river ecosystem exhibits highlighting the geology and industry of the region, museum workshops, and cafe. These are the smaller fish. These are actually salmon. The baby salmon. Right here. It was the Wintu people that lived out here in Reddings, California. And um, this is their traditional garb that they wore. So the center of this museum is the history, the history of Reddings, mapping out the area. Oh wow, so these are all the things that they produce out here. 
They had a forestry industry here. The dam, Shasta Dam. They had a lot of minerals. And then here, you can just kick back and rest your feet if you're tired. The American Adventure Exhibit is a role-play game that teaches the history and experience of the early colonists in North America. So you watch the short video here, the American Adventure. It's like an interactive history lesson. Here are the rules. Take a life chart, gain life points when you see the mark. Move the beads on your life chart. If any of your beads hit zero, you die. So anytime you're here, you see this? Move the beads on your life chart. Alright, let's see if you can do it. The river cross challenge. You gotta kinda jump at the end. Ah! Okay, try it again. Oh, you did it! Plus one morale! <laughs> Okay, well we officially died on this, but uh, we'll go through every one and see what it is. Dylan's building out a fort on his own, with no one's help. Paul Bunyan's Forest Camp is an educational hub modeled after the old time forest camps that were all over Shasta County a hundred years ago. There are two age appropriate playgrounds indoor and outdoor animal exhibits, a water feature, animal show, parrot playhouse, and more. Wow, that's a big slide. Let's go up there. All right, I'm going up this thing. Ooh, it's actually pretty. It's pretty high. Ah. Okay, time for me to go. Okay. That was fun. Let me try to do the zip line now. So this this cool rock climbing wall right here. Kind of tough for me. I can't do it. Babe's Corral. So this is for the little kids playground. And we can't explore this area because uh, it's way too much, but here's the wildlife woods. I'm guessing it's a small nature trail for children. And right next to the wildlife woods is this train, actual train. And uh, there's a parrot playhouse right here, which is closed right now. But uh, later on, this area will be open to go in and uh, interact with the parrots right here. So it's the parrot playhouse. We just finished going into the museum and now we're gonna head out to the gift shop. And Dylan's gotta go restroom, we're gonna drink some water. We're thirsty. We got the gift shop here. We got we got apple juice. So on your way out you can purchase something at the gift shop. So we're gonna take off now. Okay, let's go.